Salam. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakab Kodash. Double honors to our apostles of Great Millstone, the true elders of Israel, Huruel. Peace and salutations to the whole elect, pushing his truth and sincerity, and also unto you, women and children, keep on enduring because these prophecies are coming to pass and salvation is very near. Okay, for those of you who don't know, Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father. Yahweh meaning he exists or he is to be. Yahweh Shai is his beloved son who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. Okay, Yahweh Shai meaning he saves or he delivers. All right, Rokakwadash is spirit holy, pronounced in English as Holy Spirit. This is how you say the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And the Paleo Hebrew, also known as the Ancient Hebrew, a.k.a. the Holy Tongue. All right, I'm your brother Bashar. And I'm coming at y'all with a quick lesson dealing with the uh, the Israelite foreigners, okay? And I'm going to show you a way, one way that you can prove that uh, the Israelites are scattered amongst other nations and they look like the other nations as well, okay? Uh, we're going to open up with the book of also, I'm going to get a video to further... Uh, as an example, you know, to further, further elaborate uh, about um, about how this is true, okay? And, I mean, yeah, we have the scriptures. That's really all we need. But uh, I'm going to bring out a, a video. And, again, it's going to be a, a, a great example, okay? So, uh, dealing with the... Book of Deuteronomy, the 21st chapter, we want to scroll down to the 10th verse. It speaks about the uh, the law of the concubines, okay? Now, what would happen, I'm just going to get into it, I'm going to read it. And it reads, when thou goest forth to war against thy enemies, and the Lord thy power hath delivered them into thy hands, and thou hast taken them captive and seest among the captives a beautiful woman. Okay, because one of the spoils of war is a woman. All right. So, you know, when a, when a nation would conquer a another nation, they would, you know, invade their lands and what was left, they would take it. And one of the things that they would, that would, would, would what would be left is the woman, you know, you, 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 you would have, uh, precious, precious metals, you would have, uh, um, uh, precious stones, um, uh, just, you know, va 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 valuable merchandise, and, um, amongst that, you would have, you know, women, you know, and, uh, continuing on, 11, verse 11, and seest among the captives a beautiful woman, and has a desire unto her, that thou wouldest have her to thy wife. Then thou shalt bring her home to thy house, and she shall have she shall shave her head and pare her nails, and she shall put the raiment of her captivity from off her and shall remain in thy house and bewail her father and her mother because what would happen is um you know when the warriors would invade the lands they would kill off all the men and they would kill off all the older women uh and they would uh take the young woman okay continuing on and you know, most likely the, the 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 young woman would be crying because of you know for one, her husband was slaughtered in battle, and her uh, her mother and father was would be uh, uh, put to death as well. Okay, so continuing on, then she shall pay, she shall put the raiment of her captivity. From off her, and shall 
remain in thy house and bewail her, her father and her mother a full month. And after that, thou shalt go in unto her and be her husband and she shall be thy wife. Okay, so this is, uh, it says wife, but you know, she, she's, she's from another nation. Now you can, an uh, Israelite can only marry an Israelite woman. Okay, so uh, a woman from another nation, uh, a, a woman that's in a, a foreign land, uh, if she's not, if she's not a, uh, if she's not an Israelite, she can't be a wife. All right. So meaning, you know, if a woman is from another nation and a man a, a Israelite warrior would desire her, um, she would become a concubine. All right. She can't, he, he can't bring her back to the homeland and, and make her, uh, you know, the, the, the wife, a wife, he would, he would make her instead of a concubine. Okay. When, when you go into the scriptures, this is the law of the concubine. This passage right here is, a uh, is, a uh, is labeled as the law of the concubine. Uh, continuing on at verse 14. Okay. So what would happen what would also happen is, um, well, let's read verse 14. And it shall be if thou have no delight in her, then thou shalt let her go with um, whether she will, what, what, whether, whether she will, but thou shalt not sell her at all for money. Thou shalt not make merchandise of her because thou has humbled her. Okay. So what would happen a lot of times is. Uh, the Israelite man would pop the woman from the strange land and he would uh, not take her, not, you know, keep her to possess her. So he would let her go free. And the, that woman would have a seed conceived in her because remember, he, he, he humbled her, you know, he laid down water, he popped her. And that Israelite seed that was put in her would be a um would be born as an Israelite. Yeah, the the child would be born amongst the other nations, but the lineage of that child would go back to an Israelite. And let's get some scripture to bring furthermore edif edif edification and you know prove that point. Okay, this is the book of okay, this is the book of Numbers, chapter one, verse eighteen. Okay, and they assembled all the congregation together on the first day of the second month, and they declared their ped pedigrees after their families by the house of their fathers, according to the number of the names from 20 years and 20 years old and upward by the post. Okay. So, um, this scripture proves that your lineage is declared from your father's side. Okay. So that seed that came from, that came from the man, would go into the woman and that seed would be, you know, an Israelite seed. <laughs> I mean, that's pretty obvious. Um, um, it's like if over ex 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 explaining, if, in fact, if you have any questions and I haven't explained enough, you know, go into the comment section, ask your question and I'll get back to you. Uh, and this is why guys like Cornelius, in Acts the tenth chapter, which was mentioned to be a uh, from the Italian man, um, although he's mentioned to be from the Italian band, he's an Israelite. Okay, he was just a Gentile that you know that was brought up amongst the. Uh, he was an Israelite that was brought up amongst the the uh, the Edomites. Okay, the nation. All right, and I'm trying not to mention that particular uh, name 
because you know uh, we've been getting striked, you know, just for saying that name. So going to the description to get that name of that particular nation that uh that, that the Italian band would go back to. Okay. Uh, all right. So bear with me a second. Okay, so here's the quick clip that you can watch. It further elaborates on, you know, how Israelites would be scattered amongst other nations. Okay. You're Sicilian, huh? Sicilian. <laughs> you know. read a lot, especially about things, uh, about history. I find that shit fascinating. Here's a fact, I don't know whether you know or not. Um, Sicilians were spawned by niggas. It's a fact, yeah. You see, uh, Sicilians have uh, black blood pumping through their hearts. And, and no, if you, if, you, if you don't believe me, uh, you, you can look it up. Hundreds and hundreds of years ago, uh, you see, um, the Moors conquered Sicily. And the Moors are niggers. See, you see, way back then, uh, Sicilians were like uh, wops from northern Italy. Um, they all had blonde hair and blue eyes. But, uh, well, then the Moors moved in there and, uh, well, uh, they changed the whole country. They did so much fucking with Sicilian women, huh? That they changed the whole bloodline forever. That's why blonde hair and blue eyes became black hair and dark skin. You know, it's absolutely now, this is why, you, you know, we have brothers in the camps who look like, you know, who may look like uh, the other nations. Like, for example, we have, we have a brother named Yasharan, which he, he's Sicilian, um, but he's an Israelite. Okay. Why? Because his lineage goes back to Israel. All right. As you see... The guy explained in the video, but this is an example of one of the wars that happened that, you know, changed uh, the bloodline and or rather because the Moors were Israelites as well. The Moors were, the Moors were Israelites and they uh, went into another country, Sicily. And they, you know, planted seed amongst the women. And from there, you would have Israelite uh, women and children. Women and, 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 and men. Or men, men and women, rather. Yeah, but, uh, so this is what, this is an example. Let's keep, let's keep playing it. Amazing to me. To think that to this day, hundreds of years later, that uh, that Sicilians still carry that nigga gene. Now this, <laughs> no, I'm, no, I'm quoting history. It's written. It's a fact. It's written. I know this guy. I know no, this guy. No. <laughs> <laughs> No. Your ancestors are niggers. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. And, and your great, 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 great grandmother fucked a nigger. Oh, yeah. And she had a half nigger kid. Now. Now, there's no such thing as, you know, half, like a half breed. There's no such thing. As we went into the book of Numbers. The uh, first chapter, the 18th verse, that your lineage goes, comes from the uh, your father's side. Okay, so there's no such thing. Let's get that out the way. There's no such thing as mixed 
uh, uh, mixed, mixed race. All right. All right, so with that, uh, hopefully you brothers and sisters was edified. I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rechav Kodash. Double honors to our apostles of Great Millstone, the true elders of Israel, who, who rule well. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect, pushing his truth and sincerity, and also unto you women and children, keep on adoring, because these prophecies are coming to pass and salvation is very near. Lord willing, you was edified. Shalom.